okay guys so guys am i audible okay so the main things that we are going to discuss regarding the tcp uh, three way handshake right like uh, inside the tcp three way handshake what are the topics we are going to cover that is tcp three way handshake right so inside this uh, tcp three way handshake we are also going to discuss between the pcs right and between the network devices as well right network devices such as router and all the things right so uh, these are the devices we are going to use and i will show you each and every steps like uh, what are the information that it's going to send inside these uh, packet or while while making connections right between the pcs and between the routers as well so uh, let me just move to the topic just hang on okay so first of all uh, we are going to discuss this tcp what is tcp and uh, like why we call it as a connection oriented protocol so tcp so tcp we also called it uh, as a this is a connection oriented protocol right connection oriented protocol so uh, connection oriented protocols means um, the most important part of this connection oriented protocol that is reliability right means uh, how you can communicate and how your packet is going to be reliable for all the users right so this is the work of the tcp now let me just describe inside that some points that is we have how reliable a protocol is tcp how reliable a protocol that's called tcp right now um, it frame reliability with the help of with the help of perform uh, call tcp three way handshake right so um how TCP three-way handshake works, let me just, TCP three-way handshake works, or you can also say that with the help of TCP three-way handshake, <coughs> with the with the help of TCP three way handshake our packet or our connections connections is reliable. right how this is reliable because of we have the two things over there uh, with the help of these two packets we are going to get the uh, get the, all the information regarding the tcp that is synchronizement synchronizement and the second one that is we have acknowledgement right so with the help of this synchronization and the acknowledgement we are we are going to make the connections between the pcs right so uh let's talk about the parameters that we need to negotiate it right so so the two types of parameters that is we have that is server client and client client plus client 
right? So the server client means uh, we have the some centralized server and these clients is going to uh, request for some data, right? So these data, how these data is going to provided by the server. So this is totally going to be happen over on the TCP three way handshake, right? So let's just let me let me just describe between the two PCs first of all, right? So suppose that this is our PC, right? And that have the some kind of MAC address. Let me just write it down. And um, 0008, right? And this is our 0008 PC. And this is the directly connected with this server, right? We have the some server over there. Suppose that this is your server. So over on this server, uh, how we are going to get these any acknowledgement uh -huh, and, and what are the information that we are going to provide? So how you can connect with this? We we need some IP addresses over there, right? So the first one that it's going to send the sync packet. Suppose that this PC is needed some kind of image file, right? So what this PC will do, this PC will send the request for this image file that is called synchronization packet, right? So the sync packet, it's going to send it. And after that, once it will receive this sync packet, let me just, just now it's received this sync packet. So once it, once, once this server will check the sync packet, that uh, like inside the sync packet, what is basically is coming from and where it is coming from, right? And what is the requirement that is uh, that is inside this packet is have, right? So this will open this packet and that will check that. Okay, uh, I think that have the image file required, right? And that is directly connected with this my PC, right? This is my client. So. Uh, this is my server and this is my client. So server can understand that, okay, uh, whatever the packet I'm getting it, whatever the message I'm getting it, this is a basic, uh, uh, basically this is a, um, this is a request packet, right? So what we, what I have to do, then server will think that what I have to do, I have to provide this image file to the client, right? If I have, so I will provide it. So how you can provide it? So first of all, this server will give you the acknowledgement, right, of this packet. So this acknowledgement will first of all this will send, and uh, inside the acknowledgement this will send that okay, whatever the whatever the uh, information that you want, I can provide you, right? And this will send this packet inside the acknowledgement, right? After that, it will receive that this packet. This is uh, which is this packet is required or on this PC by this PC. Now, after that, what it will send? This will again send the sync packet. Sorry, uh, let me just, I'm sorry. I just did one mistake over there. Now, after getting this packet, this server will check that whatever the information I'm getting it, I have to give that information like uh, whatever the information that is uh, that is needed by this pc i'm going to send this image file to this right so inside that it's going to send their acknowledgement acknowledgement right means i'm going to give you the acknowledgement right plus i also want the reply from you that uh, whatever the packet i'm sending you is that correct packet or the some different packet right so this will also send the sync packet as well because of this server is going to provide you this facility regarding the image file and all and, and any kind any kind of file but how this server can understand that uh, this packet is received on the pc or not right means that is basically send the acknowledgement behalf of this reply right behalf of this reply it is going to give the reply so sorry, behalf of this request, it is this server is going to give the reply of that, 
plus this one is also going to synchronizement packet uh, synchronizements information that um, whatever the information on whatever the file I'm sending you is that correct or the different so what this PC will do this PC will open that packet and we'll check it that okay uh, whatever the whatever the image file that I'm I required is correct right so after that what it will do it will give the acknowledgement right means whatever the synchronizement packet you are going to send it to make it confirm I'm confirming that uh, this data is correct right or this information is correct that is I required right so this is all about this uh, TCP three-way handshake right now now if this uh, this TCP three-way handshake is begin right if three-way handshake if three-way handshake is completed is completed data transmission can begin right the data transmission data transmission begin right means whatever the data that is going to required by this PC this will again give the synchronization packet this will again so always this uh, this will directly this will request for some data and directly this uh, this server will provide you data because of we have the connectivity right and we already checked whatever the requirement that is uh, make the connectivity between these PCs to server that is already checked right so after after connecting or after three way handshake the complete of the three way handshake the data transmission is going to transmitted by the server and the piece between the servers and the PCs right now we have after that windowing right means suppose that between these sending the data and the receiving the data this information if any data will be lost right suppose that this just request for uh, some kind of 10 GB data right so inside this 10 GB data that is very huge right so this is requesting but this server have the capability this server can provide the data but if any data will be lost between that or between sending and the receiving so what is this called so this is called windowing right Now, if we talk about the windowing, so during three-way handshake, window size is negoti negotiated. Suppose that uh, during three-way handshake, during three-way handshake, window size is negotiated. Window size is negotiated right means that size can be anything uh, the maximum amount of the data that is um, that is receiving by the uh, that is that is duration of the sending and the receiving so this information is negotiated between this right so what is the window size suppose that window size that is to, that is totally depend upon your requirement right means um, if you have any kind of window size such as uh, if you have 10 GB of the window size right so it's depend upon your requirement you can you have uh, you, you can you can do modification or you can do anything that you want right but the by default window size that is we have four byte right window size so uh, let's now let's talk about the features that is we have over there 
during the three-way handshake or uh, during the data transmission or the receiving, how, if any data will be lost, so how we can recover that. Now, just let me make the two PCs over there. That we say is going to be very long. Okay, so between that, what I'm going to do, suppose that I'm going to one packet, right? Now let me just, this is our PCA and this is our PCB. Okay, so now it been in between that, <clears throat> if suppose that I'm going to send the four data over there, right? Continuously, I just send the four data over there. three and four data. So this four data, I'm going to share it. And these four data must have to receive on this PCB. So this PCB is received that. Or uh, suppose that this is your first, second, third, and fourth. So this four data, I'm going to share it, or the four file that is, I'm going to share it. and Every, every file is going to receive on the another PC, but if any any kind of data is not going to receive on that, right? This is your sender. And this is your receiver. Right? So if any data will be lost over there, suppose that I receive the four data over there, but I, I sorry, I just received the three data only, right? I just received the three data only. I lost these four data. So in this case, what this will do? This PC will send the these are uh, the information regarding the fourth data, right? Means uh, I lost the fourth data. Means this is good. This is means uh, this can understand that uh, whatever the acknowledgement I'm getting it. What this will, first of all, what this PC is going to do, this is going to send the data means, this is going to send the, sorry, uh, the sync message, right? And this will, what this will do, this will again give the sync plus ACK, right? Acknowledgement. So between that, uh, inside this sync plus ACK, this, what this will do, I lost the phone number of the data. I didn't receive it, right? So this PC will receive that and this will check that, okay, um, whatever the data I have sent it, I think that is, this data is not received on this because of this will give the information that I'm already received the three, these three datas only, right? Now, after that, what it will do, this will send the another data, right? Means uh, whatever the packet I have sent it, I, I, I already sent it, so I'm not going to repeat that packet, but but next time I'm going to add that data into the next packet, right? So once the next packet will be going to send it, suppose that five, six, seven, eight, right? So this information again, it's this one is going to send it. And again, this PCB is received that and this will give the acknowledgement request. This will, this will basically uh, see this. What this one is called? This is called acknowledgement request, right? Acknowledgement request means uh, I just received these three data. I didn't receive any uh, any kind of another data that is provided by that is provided by the sender. So this will what this will this will send. This will send the acknowledgement request, right? To get the acknowledgement and to send the another data from your side, right? So this is called windowing and this is uh, this is how you can um, get the all kind of detailed information regarding the data. Right guys, any doubt in between that? Did you understand it?
okay 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 fine so this is all about the three-way handshake and windowing right we have lots of features as well inside that uh, but it depends upon the data size and all right so it depends upon the data sizes and all right so this is how we can make the communication between that now uh, the main thing that um, um, we are going to do the practicals right means uh, inside this packet what are the information this one is going to send it so let's do the practical okay guys so the practicals that is we are going to do that between the two routers right so let me just take the routers over there okay and let me make the connectivity between that and how we can uh, monitor these things we have the one application that is called wireshark right so with the help of this wireshark we are going to uh, monitor all the kind of uh, packets information mac address information ip address information and how the packets is going to exchange between this right so just let me just mention over there the network that is we are going to use it so network that is 192.168.10.1 network that we are going to use it right so let me just open the console or on the first router let me open on the second router's console as well let it open guys let the console open and let me configure the ip address on that okay so i have the all the consoles of the, all the routers so let me do the configuration of the ip address right so let me go on the interface for ethernet 0 plus 0 and the ip address that is 192.168.10.1 Right, and don't forget to not shut down your interfaces. Now, uh, let me do the configuration on the another side as well. And I'm not going to make it uh, this port as a no shutdown, right? And let me let me just monitor these things first of all. Start capture, right? Let me capture the link so you can get the easily inform, get the detailed information of this with using the Wireshark. Okay, so once I will do the configuration regarding that, so you will start getting the TCP three-way handshake option over there, right? The TCP option over there. So let me do the configuration of the IP address on the another router. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address 192.168.10.2, right? Just uh, look at over there i'm not getting any any things that is related to this um any kind of source ip and the destination ip right so once i configure and once i do the no shutdown of this port i will start getting these options right sorry uh we configure the mac sorry this subnet mask right i just configured the ip address now let me do the no shutdown okay so first packet that is going to send it the cdp cisco discovery protocol packet right so inside the cdp packet uh, let me just make it detail now uh, this is your cisco discovery protocol address right to uh, to make the connectivity like uh, to find out that we are using the cisco devices and what is a software version that is we are going to use it right over on this device so and what is a model of it right so this is the ios version that i'm using over on this router and this is our uh, model name of this right so these are the all all uh, these all are the information is going to check to, over on that and now after that after the cdp it is going to generate the art 
right? That is address resolution protocol. So inside the address resolution protocol, what kind of information is going to send it? That is protocol size, hardware size, right? Protocol number means I'm using the IPv4 address over there. So that's going to send this IPv4, right? And the ethernet that I'm using in the net port, only one port over there. So these all the information is also going to send it inside that. And this is the so sender IP address, right? means sender IP address and the target IP address would be same because of I didn't do any communication between that, right? So once I use the ping command over there, then you will get the detailed information regarding that. So let me do the ping command from, I'm going to ping this from the router number one. What was the, IP address of the router number two, that is 192.168.10.2, right? Just look it over there. Now, this ICMP packet is going to send it. Inside this ICMP packet, we have the two things, that is, uh, that is a request and the reply, right? So first request, let me open the request. And inside the request message, what's going to send it? The type, right, means this is an echo request, right? And uh, what I just did it inside the echo request, that is ping, right? So after that, the checksum size and checksum status, these all are the information is going to inside, I'm going to check inside that. And uh, let me just show you the data size as well. This is the some kind of data that is we have, right? And the, this is the length of the data. So these are the things that is going to check it. And if we talk about the internet protocol version, paints uh, the source IP and the destination IP, what are the things is going to send it? So the source that is going to send it, I'm going to send this packet over uh, from the router number one, right? Because of this is the IP address that I have configured over on the router number one, right? And this is our destination IP address that is 192.168.10.2, right? Means I do the ping from router number one to router number two, okay? And the version that is I'm going to use it, internet protocol version four, correct? And just let me just tell you about the flags as well. So here we have some kind of flags as well, like some we have reserve bits, we have uh, don't fragment, we have more fragments bit as well. If you really wants to learn it, so you can also do the Google regarding that. We have lots of things, right? Now, uh, this ICMP protocol, right? So which protocol that I'm going to use it? That is ICMP, right? So uh, with the help of this ICMP protocol, we are going to make the communications, right? Now, okay. Now let's talk about the EQ reply. Sorry, ICMP, ICMP reply. So inside the ICMP reply that uh, the another router is going to give the reply, right? Means uh, this is our source, means 192.168.10.2. Means the router number two IP address is our source and the router number one IP address is our destination, right? So this is the also the same things, right? and everything will be same okay let me just tell you one more thing let me open the icmp so this is what this is our eco reply message right this is our eco reply message that icmp is called internet control message protocol right so inside this this is our eco reply message okay Means uh, if the if any everything will be just requested or receiving from uh, like receiving um, fine, so you will also get the data size as well. So you can also compare the data size as well over there, right? Now uh, let me just move to the data. Uh, let me just increase the data size as well. So how you can increase the data size? How you can send the lots of data size over there? Repeat, suppose that I'm going to send the hundreds of the packet over there. 
right? So the 100 packet has been presented. Now let me show you that latest information. Now you can check it. The 100 information is going to receive. 108, just count 108 to 208. The answer is going to uh, going to have ends on. That is 208. Let me just show you. Just look at over there. The type that you request and you could reply type. Right, so the 2305 is uh, we have. Right, so inside the record request, let's open this one. So inside this record request that uh, is going to send the data size that is 72 bytes, right? And <clears throat> everything will be same, right? The data size is going to uh, going to going to just just increases, right? The total length you can you can also monitor. Over here, the total length, right? Inside the ICMP, inside the internet can, internet protocol version, you can check the total length of the data, right? So this was uh, this was is the current current information. If you want to check the previous one, so let me just show you. So this was the previous, right? So let me just show you the data size of it. Okay, whatever the data size is going to send it, that's just, uh, just it's only depend upon these modules because of uh, the data is, which is I, I just sent it the four, four of the data, right? So four time you will, you, you will, you can identify that four time is going to send the request and four time is also going to give the reply, right? Just count it one, two, three, four, right? So the four time is is just uh, the sender send this information, and the receiver will get the reply that right, and the hundred times of this. Okay, guys. So this was all about the TCP three-way handshake, and this is how you can communicate, and this is how you can uh, get the detailed information regarding the routers and all, right? Okay, guys. Any doubt? Any queries? Guys, any doubt? Any question in your mind? Okay, smart. Okay, guys, so this was all about the three band check and windowing and all the things, right? Let me.